Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to use Illustrator to make stitches for an embroidered pocket design. Let's start with a 1000 by 1000 pixel artboard. First use the layers in the brushes palette. Select the hamburger and make a new bristle brush. Select the round point shape option and choose these parameters. Grab the brush tool now and set your stroke to black and your fill to none. Then choose a 0.25 size for the stroke. While holding down shift, drag down five little lines that stagger just a little bit along the top and bottom. These lines need to be small, so make sure that you're zoomed in while you do this. Select all the lines with your selection tool and let's rotate them about 92 degrees. And this gives the appearance of just a little offset for the running stitch. And one by one you can also bend these a little bit with the convert anchor tool. This just adds a little bit more realism. Go to the brushes palette and make a new pattern brush. Call it running one and this will be the running stitch thread okay set your outer and inner corners over here with these one of these four options and you'll just see that it either rounds the corner or it approximates the ends of the corners and your coloration should be set to tints then you can hit okay now let's make a zigzag stitch Select that group of lines again and rotate them about 45 degrees. And you'll need to shrink the height too to compress the stitch if your stitch is long. Then copy and paste this group. Right click and flip them horizontally by reflecting. And let's position them in such a way that it looks like an upside down V. You can select all of them and kind of crush them a little bit and change the proportion and that's going to create a zigzag thread. Select them both and go to brushes again and let's make a new pattern brush. And these are the same parameters as before for your corners and your side lines. And let's apply these to the stitches now. Okay, zoom out and draw a single vertical line that's almost the size of the artboard. Set the fill to none, then the stroke to some color that you like. Click on the running stitch brush with that line selected and it will add the brush to the stroke. Double click that brush You'll see it opens the dialog box again, and now we can change the scale. Make sure preview is turned on, and adjust it so the running stitch looks believable in scale with the pocket. Once you like it, let's change the brush to a simple stroke so we don't max out our GPU and our CPU, depending which one you're using, and then we will apply these stitches again later. Let's make the outline stitches of a pocket design. And it's possible just to draw a rectangle to do this and then apply the stitches, but I think it's easiest to do it this way because your lines are directionally focused, so the patterns are gonna run along these lines in the way that you draw them. And I'm just copying and pasting the individual lines and I'm tapering the sides and I'm trying to match this look here of a pocket. Okay, now lock that layer temporarily and make a new layer on the bottom. Let's create a rectangle that's a little bit bigger and let's add an anchor point to the bottom so we can match up the shape of the stitches. And let's uh, change the fill color to something that's denim colored. We don't want a stroke, and we will lock that layer. 
Okay, make one new layer on top. And here's where you can add some kind of design with the zigzag stitch. There's a million ways to do it. Draw with a pen tool, draw freehand, make individual shapes. It's really up to you, use your imagination, but I'm gonna use a letter for this demonstration. So I'm gonna to go to the type tool and I'm gonna type my last initial. I'll make it big. And I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna change it to Edwardian script for the font. And by the way, this will work for some letters and not for others. Then using the selection tool, go to font, create outlines, and this turns it into a shape. So now we're gonna change the uh, stroke to your color choice and turn off the fill. Click on that zigzag stitch and then double click the stitch in the brushes palette and then change your scale. Again, make sure previews on and this is gonna slow your computer down. So once you get it and you think it looks good, hit okay. Go back to the uh, locked layer for your sideline stitches. Select those individually and change those to the running stitch. Okay, voila, now you have a new pocket stitch design in Illustrator. Experiment with different types of stitches in this way and build yourself a library of stitch types. Good luck and I'll see you in the next one.